it's a never ending change. The lanes change constantly. The technology changes every day. There's days that I feel like I know nothing about this sport or this game, just because that's how fast and rapid that it's changing and the technology side of it. You have to have a conversation with the lane and what's going on and understanding bowling balls. There's not one or two bowling balls that you can go in a pro shop and buy these days. There's hundreds. You have to have confidence in yourself as to what type of shot you threw, as to what change you're gonna make for the next shot. So it's constantly changing. What do you think caused you to pull it left like that? Your, your feet are too quick right at first and then you're having to pull the swing down to catch up. So slow the first couple steps down, let the ball get into the swing, and then you'll be able to drive through it at the end and you won't pull it left. You know, I'm a bigger guy, so I've never been very flexible either, but just trying to keep my legs underneath me and get my legs into shape to where I'm not using too much upper body, you've got to use your legs because that's where all the power comes from. That's gonna be the biggest thing for me is to stay in shape as I get older. Just keep myself in, in better condition to be able to compete against these younger kids that are in much better condition. With anything, our sport, you see it evolving. You see the two-handers coming out. You see guys coming out with more revolutions putting on the ball with, with or without their thumb in the ball. That's where the game's going. You know, the ones who can still create a little bit of touch and feel are the ones that are definitely winning them. Much better.